The Museum of Bad Art, or MOBA in short, used to be located in an old basement in Dedham, Massachusetts. And currently, you can find it in Somerville, Massachusetts. It only accepts art pieces that are so bad, you just can't ignore them. Their collection includes portraits. Get it? That's the name they use for portraits. And some really outrageous landscapes. There's also the MOBA Zoo, featuring really unfortunate depictions of our furry friends. Like any self-respecting museum, they also have a gift shop, where you can purchase some prints, postcards, or even a coffee mug with your favorite bad art. Speaking of really unique experiences, how would you like to spend time in jail without actually having to break the law? In Scotland, there's a place called Inverere Jail. It's an actual former prison that dates back to the 1800s, where tourists can experience 19th century jail life. There are characters dressed in authentic costumes that make it even more realistic. You can participate in courtroom trials and work with other inmates. In Suwon, South Korea, visitors can check out a theme park built around the history and culture of toilets. It was opened in memory of the former city mayor. He dedicated a lot of time and local resources to improving the city's public toilets and sewer system. It goes without saying that this place has a lot of toilet-themed art documenting the world's restroom culture. You'll find everything here, from men's and women's bathroom signs from around the globe to photographs of public toilets and information about the importance of sanitary facilities. A designer store in the middle of the desert? If you happen to pass by Texas, you'll find a Prada store on an empty stretch of US 90 outside of the small town of Valentine, about 150 miles from El Paso. Two Berlin artists wanted to offer Texans the high-end experience, sort of. That's because the curious store has no door to access it and its 20 left-foot shoes and six purses set on display. Surprisingly, the store was built with the blessing of Miuccia Prada herself, the head designer of the brand. Can you imagine living in a city where you have your own beach access to a lagoon that leads directly into the sea? That might be possible in the near future, if you don't mind relocating to Sabah Al Ahmad Sea City in Kiran, Kuwait. This engineering masterpiece was inaugurated in 2016. Its canals form 120 miles of artificial shoreline. All those human-made islands were built by excavating large channels in the desert rather than using reclaimed land, as was done previously in similar conditions. Before visiting this museum, you have to take off the shoes you've been wearing and put on special slippers that won't damage the artwork. Because it's everywhere! It's called the Electric Ladyland, and it's the world's first museum of fluorescent art. The owner, Nick Palladino, exhibits here a lot of his own sculptures and even naturally luminescent rocks, along with other human-made glowing objects. One portion of this art gallery features paintings that shift color under UV light. The soundtrack is awesome too. You'll hear a lot of the Beatles and Jimi Hendrix. Upside down houses seem to be quite a tourist attraction. You can find them in many countries, such as Japan, Poland, Germany, and Austria. One of the best ones to visit is located in Malaysia. It's called Ruma Turbulent Upside Down House. It uses recycled wood and other natural materials to recreate a local atmosphere. It was opened back in 2012 and soon became a popular tourist attraction with its upside down furniture and wacky household appliances. There's even an upside down car parked in the garage. A spa themed park located in Hakon, Japan provides tourists with an interesting array of hot springs. Some of them are quite unusual, especially the unique noodle bar, where visitors can literally swim in a bowl of ramen. It's not for tasting though, since it's still a public space. The Dead Marsh in Namibia offers a cool experience which makes you think you're frozen in time. Since there's no water here and temperatures are really high, this sparse forest is made out of skeleton trees that haven't been alive for more than 600 years. Since there's little to no humidity, the remaining vegetation cannot fall apart, leaving behind this odd natural landscape. It even became the set for some sci-fi movies. Spoiler alert! But 
The paper house located north of Boston, Massachusetts is actually a house made completely out of paper, furniture and all. It was built by Ellis F. Stenman, the man behind the machine that makes paper clips. Back in the 1920s, he basically wanted a two-room summer home for him and his family. It took him over 20 years to complete since the house was made of about 100,000 newspapers. Just make sure you don't bring any lighters. Cappadocia Cave Hotel in Turkey is a great place to stay for both history buffs and people who are into modern and luxurious decor. All of the rooms and suites are located inside the local cave dwellings dating back to the Roman and Byzantine periods. Cappadocia is also famous for its hot air balloon tours. One of the reasons is because it's not very windy here and the view of the city is really beautiful, especially during sunset. The small Indian town of Deshnok certainly wouldn't be on your vacation list if you don't like rats. A 14th century legend has it that the rats living here are to be protected and nurtured. Over 20,000 rats live inside this famous location these days. Since they've been living there for so long, the rats are quite friendly with both locals and tourists. The Battle of the Oranges is a local festival happening each year in late February in a small Italian town of Ivria. The local myth has it that the Carnival de Ivria started back in the Middle Ages. That's when locals stood against a hated ruler by throwing oranges at him in protest. It sounds like fun to join thousands of participants gathering there for three days to throw some oranges. Just don't forget to duck. Socotra Island in Yemen was separated from mainland Africa more than six million years ago. That's probably one of the reasons why this secluded island looks more like the set of a fantasy movie than a real location. The island has some incredible and unique flora. Most of the plants and trees that grow here are not found anywhere else in the world. Like for example, the ancient twisted dragon's blood tree or the bulbous bottle tree. Japan's Tashirojima is rightly nicknamed Cat Island since it has a population of 100,000 humans and almost four times as many felines. The cats were initially brought here since the island produced a lot of silk, and mice like silkworms a lot. More so, the cats were seen as a sign of good luck. There are even cat-shaped cabins for tourists to settle in, and it probably goes without saying that dogs aren't allowed there. There are about 1,700 weirdly shaped hills in the middle of Bohol Island in the Philippines. They're so unique that you might easily mistake them for human-made. They are, however, part of the UNESCO heritage since they are naturally made out of coral deposits and shaped by rainwater erosion. Because of their quirky look, they earned the nickname of Chocolate Hills, since during the dry season, their exterior goes from lush green to brown. Big fan of cascading pools? Then make sure to check out another UNESCO World Heritage Site located in Pumakale, Turkey. The name means Cotton Castle in Turkish. It's set in the ancient ruins of Hierapolis, a city that was built around the pools. Their crystal clear waters cascade from natural springs down to white travertine terraces. The view is so beautiful that you won't know what to do at first. Take a picture or jump in. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.